How's it going guys? Today I've got a new addition here. Pretty happy about it. I just went and picked him up. Got just got home now. So let's give you guys a look. Yes. I got another blotch blue tongue. Another alpine blotch blue tongue skink. He's got a little bit of a skin condition on his back, and that's from some fighting with some siblings, but it's healing up now, so it should be all good. He's in shed now too, so he's not very colourful. So he should colour up after he sheds, but um, he still won't be as good looking as my blotchy I already have, but that's alright. Still an awesome little animal. So yeah, this is the new addition. I'm really happy about it. Let's go put him in the enclosure. So yeah, I'll just let him settle in now, I'll give him some food and water, and then I'll leave him to do his thing. Yeah, that's him, her. Hopefully it's a girl, actually. Or at least opposite sex to whatever my first one is. And yeah, it's about eight or nine months old, I believe, and yeah. So now I've just got it set up in a simple setup in this enclosure. All the other blue tongues are living outside now, so just gonna raise him in here, quarantine him for a bit. He's just gotta hide there, hide there, food and water, some rocks. So yeah, it should it should start going good. Alpine blotch blue tongues are one of my favourite looking and animals to keep. They're so cool. So he's just been eating now. You can see he's licking his loops there. Loving the cat food. So that's a really good sign. I'm really happy about that. Shows that he's not too stressed and stuff. Almost all my animals I've gotten have eaten in the first few days. It's really good. Oh, there he goes. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah, it's a really good sign. So, um, for those of you who don't know, these guys are from the southern highlands of New South Wales, Australia. They live in the alpine climate where it snows and stuff, and yeah, they can handle a lot of cold temperatures and that. So yeah, this is the alpine form. There's also the, the southern form, which is a lot less colourful and stuff, and they don't have to deal with snow, I don't think, but yeah. So these are my favourite, the Alpine Highland form. And look at that, that's so cool. See so yeah, I feed them all dried cat food. Works really well. And he's digging into it. See, so I'm really happy about that. I love this new guy. Wow. If anyone else has ever gotten a new reptile and started eating right away and that, you probably know what I'm talking about, it's really cool. So yeah, you should settle in really well. So here's my first blotchy. Looks quite a bit different to the, the new one, but it's alright. Hopefully they'll be male and female. But yeah. I'm going to start trying to get more blotch blue tongues in the collection. They're just probably the coolest of the blue tongues. Except maybe some of the inland stuff. But yeah, blotch blue tongues for the win. Stick around for more videos on these guys in the future. And see you next time. And all females too, just waiting on them to lay all their eggs at the moment. Mm. A little chocolate block. Well, I did have six females in there. That's the eggs in the incubator now, three of them laid already. Um, barking geckos, 
And little baby blue, I just picked that up the other day. No. I picked up four of them, but this is the one that I sort of took a liking to, so I'm going to keep this one because of the pattern. It's got like a real nice pattern on it. Oh, yeah, sweet. Yeah. Get the setting up little enclosure. Um, pure 100% het exantic black headed in there. She's a big girl. Around the corner. Barton geckos. Oh, there you know. Um, cool, this fella's never out. He's a um, Tristus Orientalis. Oh, that's a um, monitor, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I've got another. Another pair of barking geckos down there. Yeah, that's the that's the enclosure there. I need to keep that big worm in, but I just cracked the glass the other day. Alright. Oh, um, jungles, diamonds, galbino. XR, 82 model. Vintage. Yeah, XR. I know this.